Welcome to Blue Briefing. Our video will look at an important paper in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine. Here, we discuss, the lung microbiome predicts mortality and response to azithromycin in lung transplant recipients with chronic rejection, by researchers from University of Michigan, University of Toronto, Weill Institute for Critical Care Research and Innovation, University of Pittsburgh, and Emory University. Chronic lung allograft dysfunction, or CLAD, is the leading cause of death following lung transplantation. Although there is some evidence that azithromycin improves lung function in a subset of patients with airway neutrophilia, there are no globally effective treatments. A higher burden of bacteria in the airways is a known risk factor for developing CLAD, but associations between imbalances in the lung microbiome, pulmonary inflammation, and allograft dysfunction in lung transplant patients remain unclear. In a retrospective cohort study, researchers investigated whether the composition and burden of lung microbiota could predict post-CLAD outcomes and patient response to azithromycin using acellular bronchoalveolar lavage, or BAL, fluid from lung transplant recipients within 90 days of CLAD onset. Additionally, they analyzed lung microbiota and examined the causal relationships between dysbiosis and inflammation in the lung. Notably, a significant correlation was observed between higher bacterial burden in lungs and shorter post-CLAD survival, independent of variables including CLAD phenotype and azithromycin treatment. Azithromycin improved survival for patients with high bacterial burden but had minimal impact on those with low or moderate burden. Airway neutrophilia was also linked to a high bacterial burden, suggesting that it might serve as a biomarker and potentially act as a mediator. Furthermore, lung bacterial burden was positively associated with CLAD-related cytokines, namely, TNF-alpha, IL-1-beta, IL-1-RA, and IL-8, indicating a heightened inflammatory response. Interestingly, Pseudomonas aeruginosa growth was augmented by bowel fluid from CLAD patients, suggesting that CLAD itself may promote the growth of pathogens, which then further damage the lungs. These findings highlight the importance of lung microbiota in CLAD progression and treatment response, suggesting that future research should focus on mechanisms to alter the lung microbiome, aiming to reduce bacterial burden and improve outcomes for lung transplant recipients. For more details, please read the article by Dr. Michael P. Combs and colleagues. Thank you for watching Blue Briefing.